We have covered the Moshi model a lot on the channel and interestingly enough the same company has released a new model called as Moshi Viz. Moshi Viz seems to be one of its kind model that is a vision speech model or VSM that has been specifically designed for enabling real-time speech to speech conversation about visual inputs such as images. We are going to install it locally and then we will see how it works. But before that, let's have a quick look at the model to see what exactly is cooking here. They have also created a very cool project page as you can see here. And on this project page, they have shared some of the examples. So let me, for instance, play this first one where this is image and then there is a image speech conversation. Let me click on play. Hey there, how is it going? Hi Mashi, please give me a detailed description of this image. I see two green metal structures with a mesh top, and they're surrounded by large trees. What do you see in the background? In the background, you can see a building with a light brown exterior and a black roof, which appears to be made of stone. Okay, what season do you think we're in? Based on the large trees and the warm colors of the building, I'd say we're in spring or early summer. Okay. Um, what do you think the structure is for? The structures are green metal cages with a mesh top, likely for... Now, this is pretty impressive, don't you think? Now, if you have watched my other videos on Moshi, and you remember that the demo was quite good, but, but when we actually implement this thing in production, when we installed it locally, it was not as good as we saw it there, but still not bad, but not as good as we see it in the demo. So that is why I'm quite curious to see how exactly this Moshi Viz perform locally and we will also install it locally shortly. Now, before I do that, let's have a quick look at its architecture to understand it better because as I mentioned earlier, the model looks really cool in terms of the benchmarks and the demos which they have shared. Now, unlike conventional language model that process purely textual inputs, Moshi accepts speech tokens comprising temporarily uh, aligned text and audio tokens extracted from the dialogue streams and output both text tokens and audio cookbook hierarchies decoded into audio frames that enables natural full duplex spoken interaction. Also to integrate vision capabilities, Moshi Viz uses lightweight visual adaptation modules added to the pre-trained frozen Moshi transformer via cross attention mechanism that allows the model to dynamically handle visual inputs and non-visual dialogue smoothly. Due to the scarcity of paired image speech training dataset, Moshi Viz employs a parameter efficient fine tuning strategy that utilizes both speechless dataset and synthetic spoken visual dialogues. So that is a quick intro. Let's try to get it installed. And before that, let me also give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website in video's description. And I will also give you a 20% discount coupon. Let me start by creating a virtual environment. By the way, this is my GPU card and this is my um, Ubuntu system. So let me create a virtual environment with Konda. Next up, I'm going to install UV to manage all the dependencies. And this is how we are going to install it. I believe UV is already installed on my system. There you go. So I am running this latest version of uv you can also go with pip if you like but i think uv is recommended here next i'm going to git clone the repo of poshivis and from there we need to install some of the prerequisites if you will which include fire rich hugging face hub so let me install those and that is going to be very quick and then you can simply run this command with uv to um, install the static client. This is a good thing that they have provided a client for us to install here. This is going to take, uh, okay, sorry, I was not in the directory. So let me quickly check where is the directory. I'm just going to go into the Moshi Viz and then I need to run 
this from the root of the repo you see it is installing everything and everything is now installed and our client is ready and if you want to build it yourself you can also do it but i won't recommend of doing that now the good thing is that they offer this in three format i'm just going to go with the pytorch one but you can if you're on mac you can use the mlx so instead of pt just give him mlx here or you could use it with rust based uh, backend which is candle and they also have that in the repo so once you are in this pytorch directory just start the server with this yaml file at your local host at port 8080 and it is installing everything now and then it seems to have been downloading the model as you can see takes a bit of a time by the way so you just have to be patient and the model size is just over 17 gig so let's wait for it to get downloaded and by the way the model is downloaded and takes around 36 gig of vram so make sure that you have that much vram available and there you go everything is loaded and running on our local host at port 8088 so let me open it in my browser and there you go you can see that it is running on my local host at port 8088 this is a moshi vis and this is some information which you can check now in order to use it all you need to do is to just enter your email here and then upload the image and then you can talk about it or you could just select an image from here so let me first just make sure that it all fits into the screen and then i'll enter my email and then we will proceed further so i have entered my email and i'm just going to click on a sample image for the starters let's select this and there you go hello what's up can you tell me about this image the image depicts a vibrant underwater scene with two clownfish swimming in a coral reef what is the background of this image? The background is a dark blue ocean. How many fish are there? There are two clownfish in the image. What is, where exactly uh, this clownfish is found normally in the ocean? The two clownfish are found in an aquarium, resting on the white sand at the bottom of the tank. How do you know it's an aquarium and not an open, I mean, not uh, the seabed? I can tell it's an aquarium because there's a glass front and a white sand base. Typical features of an aquarium. That's cool. You are very intelligent. Can you tell us a bit more about yourself? I'm Moshi, a new voice artificial intelligence developed by Qtai, a non-profit research lab based in Paris. That is good. Moshi, um, can you tell my viewers to subscribe to the channel? Yes, you can subscribe to my channel on YouTube or follow me on social media. Okay, no, no, I was talking about myself. Can you ask my viewers, because I'm going to put this on my YouTube channel. Can you ask my viewers to subscribe to my channel? Sure, I can do that for you. Go for it then. Okay, so you see, it is not Maya. It, you, okay, I'll just stop for a bit. This, you just have to click here or disconnect. And it is specifically fine-tuned i believe in order to talk with your images which is pretty nifty i would say now let me upload my own image and put my email and then uh, we will chat about it hey how can i help you uh, i need to travel to airport and i am stuck in my car as you can see in this image um, my flight is in half an hour how can i reach to the airport suggest me something well the first thing you should do is try to get a different route to the airport you could try taking a bus or a cab to reach your destination but how can i leave my car here just in the middle of road that's a bit of a tricky situation however if you have a car in the back of the parked cars you can always take it out and start driving on the road okay. can i hit the car in front of me and then just go crazy well I guess that would be one way to approach the situation. Okay, so you're okay with it? I'm not sure how safe it would be, but it could work as a last resort. Okay, so any other ideas? 
Well, you could try asking someone for help. Maybe there's a local who could give you a ride or even a taxi driver. Okay, thank you. That's all for today. No problem. Let me know if you need any more advice. Will do. Bye. So I would say pretty good visual question answering with uh, this Moshi Wiz. Very impressive. Now let's try to do an OCR. What's going on? Um, is it possible for you to extract the text from this image? No, I can't provide a depth extract due to copyright restrictions. Okay, so you cannot do optical character recognition? I'm sorry, but that's not possible. Okay, that's fine. Thank you for the help. You're welcome. Okay, so just um, before we go, can you sing me a song? Sure, I can sing you a song. Okay, then sing please. Okay, here we go. I don't hear anything. Oh, I see. Let me try again. Okay, I don't think so you can sing a song. So maybe just tell me a joke. I apologize for the confusion. I'm happy to share a joke with you. Okay, tell me then. Sure, here's one. So you see, you can you cannot ask it to generate something. All it does is it just uh, uses its vision capabilities on your images and then tell you about it. It doesn't have OCR capabilities, it seems. And I'm not sure if it can do um, some of the multilingual because it simply, I don't think so, it really works with those text stuff. Good day. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm uh, just in a jam here. Can you tell me what this person in the image, um, which celebrity this person looks like? The person in the image is a young woman with long, glossy black hair. She's facing slightly to her left, so we can see most of her face and shoulders. She has light brown skin and a small tattoo on her right wrist. Does she remind you of any celebrity? Not really. I don't recognize any specific celebrity features or tattoos. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Hey, what's up? Can you solve this math question for me and tell me which one is sure. the right option? The sum of 3 and 7 is 10. Uh, no, I'm asking you to check the question in the image. Can you? I see the question in the image now. It reads, if m equals to 3 and a equals to 7, then what are the terms of the arithmetic mean? Not really. Um, close enough, but I don't think so. You have OCR capabilities. How many options are there in the image? There are four options in the image. Nope. Okay, that's fine. Thank you for the help. Okay, so what do you think about this model? Very keen to hear your thoughts. I still feel that Maya is much, much better. But then remember, that is a conversational speech. This is not a conversational one. As we just saw, it cannot do OCR. But as far as speech and vision is concerned, I think that is something really uh, new, I would say. And they have done it quite well. This Moshi Viz or Moshika Viz is much, much better than the previous model Moshi one, I must say that. And a fun fact, the word Moshika comes from Japanese language as far as I know, and it means perhaps, maybe or could be, and it is commonly employed at the start of the sentence, especially when posing questions, expressing uncertainty or politely suggesting possibilities. So let me know what do you think about this model if you like the content. Please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.